We're getting reaction tonight from Southeast Iowa residents and elected officials regarding President Biden's decision to drop out of the presidential race. KTBS John Redfield spoke to people from both political parties. President Joe Biden announced his decision to drop out of the presidential race on Sunday, sparking a variety of reactions among residents in Southeast Iowa. I wasn't surprised. I, I was sort of saddened, but in some ways excited. Uh, what President Biden did, did was a statesmanlike act with a great deal of grace. It took him a while, but he got to a place where he could could uh, step back on his own terms, and I think that's very important. He's been a very consequential president, and I think his choice of Kamala, Kamala Harris as uh, the front runner for the Democratic nomination is another statesmanlike act. Numerous reports indicate that Vice President Harris has become the front runner for the Democratic Party, especially following President Biden's recent endorsement. However, some Republicans believe that regardless of the Democratic nominee, there is no significant challenge to former President Trump's chances of reelection. Vice President Kamala Harris did not make it through any primary. She dropped out before then, so she wasn't chosen uh, to go forward. Uh, she was the worst performing candidate in the Democrat primaries. Um, and so there you now have a process. Well, you know, how are the Democrats going to make whole all of those voters that they're disenfranchising who went to the polls, voted for President Joe Biden? As I look at things, it doesn't matter who is the uh, presidential candidate on the Democrat side, whoever that person is, the Biden-Harris administration, the Democrats are responsible for Americans struggling, Americans feeling pain, not feeling they can get ahead. Ryder believes that Vice President Harris is the best nominee for the Democratic Party, as she is the front runner to be selected at the Democratic National Convention in August, just before early voting begins in some states in September.